Hi, this is Micah with Mine Data. We're here at the PJR Group Mines. This is all load mines. If you look over here, Mike, you can see all the different tailings piles from the quartz. Some of that quartz will have gold in it. Some of it's gonna have pyrites and sulfides. We can also see that at one time, this was a registered mine. James McCutcheon, the Arizona State Mine Inspector, who's here on property. Whenever you see that sign, you gotta definitely be careful. Mm -hmm. Don't go in the, the mine shafts if you are tempted, unless you're a professional. Here on the PGR group, you have some mining relics that are left over. This looks like an old stove. Could have been using it just to heat themselves or possibly roasting off the sulfides in the ore. You can see some of the different workings here, all the different types of ore that was pulled out of this mine. Over here, you're gonna see some of the wall rock. And the entrance, which is caved in, is actually just right over here to the left. Definitely an interesting area. First spot I would hit is open up that entrance and look at the ore that they were working. We have a good sample of it here on the surface, which is shown gold. This sample was just under an ounce to the ton. There's quite a bit of it here. I would probably say, man, 50 tons of material just on surface. And like I said, it did test out just under an ounce of, of gold to the ton. So here at Mind Data 2, we also want to make sure we don't disclose all of the information about the location we're currently at. Um, you know, people think they can come out and prospect and, you know, take ore from the site. And in Arizona and pretty much any other state, we call that claim jumping. And sometimes that can end up with the person that's claim jumping going to jail. So again, if you have questions, just call us, you know, a lot of the times we, we give permission to come out to the properties, but we have to know when the customer is there, the day and time, and that way we can distinguish between claim jumpers and people that have permission. Here's an example of sulfide ore. You can see some of the sulfides here in the corner. Good variety, mixture of minerals, definitely iron stained. And that yellow staining a lot of the times will come from that sulfur leaching out of the ore. And here you can see the width of the vein. So probably about 12 inches. So it's gonna range in size. It's gonna swell and pinch depending on where you're at in the vein structure. And uh, this area also is known for lenses of ore, which can be very rich. And a lot of the times the prospectors aren't just looking for quartz, but on the PGR group here specifically, a lot of the gold travels with the limonite. It's really a rusty looking material in through here. So we have the iron as well. The gold loves to settle into there, just like the saying goes that gold rides the iron horse. And that might actually be gold right there. So here we're just in a, a trench. It's actually the opposite side of the mountain. And these ore bodies continued through these mountains, several different prospects. The old timers were kind of sloppy in their work. And so they left a lot of this gold laying around here for us to come back and retrieve 150 years later. Here we have a parallel vein. Uh, the other trench is just right over here. And so with these parallel veins, it's very interesting because a lot of the times you'll have a cross and where they cross is really where you want to look for the gold that's going to be free mill gold. It's one of the unique things about this property is that in Arizona, a lot of the gold is caught up in sulfides, but here uh, where we have this limonite, a lot of it's going to be free milling gold. So you'll find pockets of ore and you'll be able to actually see the gold in the ore as you're working. And this area specifically down below us, there's continued trenching. They trench down and Man, I think, what is it, another five or six holes, Mike? So, yeah, there's lots of workings here. Um, regretfully, what we we're thinking originally happened was the gentleman that discovered this area uh, was actually a sheriff, and he passed away in 1918. Uh, he was killed in the line of duty. And so that's one of these stories where these areas can be lost to time and just found recently. Here's another ore dump. Um, you can see the trenching continue behind me here. They're digging there along the vein. We're down further, so most likely the veins had crossed at this point. 
have another barrel. Either they're using that for fire or roasting their sulfides or keeping themselves warm. But yeah, definitely interesting. Lots of ground here to work. Uh, lots of ore. I mean, if you even look down on the ground here, there's just ore piles everywhere. Lots of quartz, lots of good looking limonite, lots of iron in this ore. So in this trench and the two different prospects up top and the original mine on the other side, these are just two to three different prospects out of 10 on the claims that are available for sale. Again, this is the PGR group. There's six different mining claims and they're all contiguous. So we look forward to hopefully meeting you out here, showing you where the gold's at.